This will be the first of a series of videos to show each discovery service in action. As you look at these videos and compare each discovery service for yourself, remember it's really hard to do an apple to apple comparison. Each service is built on its own structure, philosophy, and there's great variations from one service to the other. What you'll have to do is find the service best for your local needs. This first video will look at Google Scholar. Google Scholar is an example of a central index. Google collects all the information and puts it into one index that's prepared so that when the user does the search, results are turned, returned immediately. Types of things you'll find in Google Scholar can include journals, books, publicly available indexes, patents, case laws, and citations. Also, organizational repositories, such as libraries, may submit things. One advantage of Google Scholar, obviously, is it's free. Now there are some limitations to Google Scholar. First, there is no formal support. They use a web-based help model. They also will not give you a list of what's included or not included in their index. Publishers or publications come and go. Google does not know your access rights, but they do now offer a feature where your organization can report to them what you subscribe to and they will add in links, which I'll show you. Finally, the relevancy ranking does change and it's not well documented, unlike the other resources where you can get a sense of how things are ranked. This is the home page of Google Scholar. It's very familiar to the other Google products. I'm just going to do a simple search so we can see some of the results. Down the left hand side, this is an example of facets. Google Scholar's facets are limited to case law articles, publication dates, and how you can sort things. You can also include or exclude patents or citations. You will see in other discovery services many more options for facets. In the right hand side you can see that Google Scholar knows that Case Western Reserve University has access to this article. That is because we gave our holdings of our subscriptions and databases to Google to activate these links. Finally, a feature that's available in all the discovery services is the ability to cite things directly from the discovery service. Here's an example where I can copy paste one of these directly into my Word document or PowerPoint, or I can export to a citation application.